much. The core you took was worth? I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now... It'll be as good as new. You brought this on yourself. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. Always. My name is Jin. What's yours? Laura. It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Is that part of your dream too? This thirst, is it really my own, or is it someone else's? <sighs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jim, are you really here? I don't know. Where I really am. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah. Perhaps. We're not so different after all. Humans and blades. What's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor or Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, I could tear damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CO says jump, we jump. Okay, so before we all get through all the talking to what Sora Zeke is saying, but hello everyone and what is going back today, Ever at Gaming, give you another premiere Sora episode of Xenoblade Chronicle 2 for Nintendo Switch today. We have 50 beat chapter 5, 
and now we are at least here on chapter six, and this is called Wands. And just now, we are gonna find out what's the what we have to do just to get, get on a better, uh, take the trip to Urea, uh, whatsoever. And we're gonna find out whatsoever, um, it's going to happen and whatsoever. But now on, let's just, um, at least, uh, continue on whatsoever as you have to say. So, morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? No, I went. So, I figured as well. Uh, I figured as much. I'm sorry. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where we're merging summit being held. Clear ahead a little. Someone got a escort Mirag over there, right? So, I think I will be perfectly capable of finding my way own way. So, I meet for a uh, man to be a tenant too, right? So apparently yes. So see, we might as well all head over. So I guess you're right. Let's go then. All right, let's just uh, indeedly do go. So right now, uh, cause you guys are not know it, I've been uh, still playing with uh, Rath for a little while, and just now, um, let's just try to see because before we go ahead and continue on our adventure, because somehow there is uh, some new character I want to uh, discuss with you guys. So this is uh, Godfrey. And so that I live, got uh, a lot stuck on playing the Zeebler Chronicle 2 because he's much more handy in the game and for the odds quality give him it beyond the beast uh, hunter the first. So it's an increase the damage dealt to uh, beast by 20% and odds dealt the second since it reduced our aggro drawn by, from a special and the drive art by 70%. Much more useful in the game. And just now uh, we got here a different character. So the character I don't have anymore is uh, Florine and uh, Karu. And Shiromi and Momiji. I don't have any of um, these guys anymore because some other I cannot pronounce because the game is letting me want to go and reset because somehow I want to reset the game just, just to make sure I start back to where I last started. So just now, let's just uh, at least try to see what sort of character we got so far. So I'm going to look at um, where I last uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I just skipped over uh, Pandoria. So for uh, Pandoria, she has the, the uh, spike defense of the first. I already give her. So I haven't given her the accuracy, um, this, the first, uh, what's the call, uh, accuracy, uh, math, the other first, well, at least I haven't got to, uh, to put that in slot one anymore, because somehow I had to go back to Oscar and, uh, go buy it. Um, so right now I just got her the, uh, the spike defense first, that, uh, reduced the uh, spike damage taken by, uh, 60%, because you can tell, since you have paid attention to, uh, whatsoever the, um, Pandora stat is, because for Thunderblast, it only adds up to 60% chance when you're dealing um, extra um, critical hit but, um, by guarding the uh, Nolan attack. So, I'll keep that in uh, mind because somehow it's uh, much more useful in our uh, battle. So, now uh, it says uh, increase damage dealt by uh, inset by 25% because it can only be um, taking a lot more damage than if you can spend because somehow much more lower because anyhow 25% is much more uh, damage to dealt with. And for slot 3, this is the element or uh, prioritizer. So it's a target damage element or when I'm not using oppos opposing element in the chain. So it's, it's much more useful to just some fighting. So I'll try to keep that in our, um, our score. So just now, be, right now, let's just move back and let's check on weapon monetization. So now on, we don't have that yet. So if you guys have not noticed, uh, could you have paid attention in the, um, since you can see for strength, for uh, Zeke, I already increased her him up to uh, 294 because uh, it took me a while, so I have to um, develop Zeke a lot stronger in, in case you uh, think of it. So just now, uh, we got all our team uh, finished chart improving just for a little bit more. And let's check out with accessories. You can, I can tell because Rats, um, Strength, and um, Effort, Destiny, and all that etc. stuff is improving okay. And just now for uh, Nia. Yeah, she does a rat well. Job well done. Because you know what? I have not um give um Zeke anything, but not other than the steam belt. But the strength is only worth in three hundred forty seven because that may keep the team stronger because just to um uh, expect for uh Zeke to go and use three hundred and forty seven of his strength because somehow we're gonna keep that in notes. And let's go to engage blade because somehow it appeared to me because I got new um Core, um, the guy down in Core Crystal, but anyway, let's just uh, double check. So, right now, I got here it's a uh, Natsuki, a Tori, and uh, a Burro. So, at least I got all my team in the group so far. Let's just, um, we're not gonna go in here and just to go and expect we all of this because somehow it's a much more interesting of what we see here because somehow I have not given her any Oscar just now. Uh, right now, let's see. So, I kind of give, um, 
Atari and uh, Alboro some last cores. So do I get her Oscorn? No, I didn't get Alboro Oscorn yet. So I better go back to Oscorn and uh, grab some later because anyhow, let's just chat with um Brad. Actually, yeah, I know what I was pushing the wrong button. My bad. Okay, so at least we got here it's a uh, Bangara and uh, Iki. Alright, so um, right now let's just check with Iki real quick because somehow uh, we can at least uh, take a look at roll because somehow he appears to be holding the uh, clockwork ball. Alright, so especially he learns Metal Blast, Racking Ball, Violent Swing, and Colossal Strike. Well, it's much more useful in battle. So um, at least our, the odds card to get him so far is the uh, Brick Resist the first and Shackle Blade uh, Resist the, uh, the first. So. You're not lucky because somehow the uh, the boost it can only uh, increase up the blade shackle re resident by 20% because so much is you for in battle. So we're gonna return and we are not gonna go ahead and read anything because somehow it appeared to me because look let's look at something real quick. So let's just do so. Uh, where do we go? Um, how how do we get there? So we have to go to blade. Okay. So let's go to blade album. So, so far, Florin is still here because uh, somehow I cannot uh, expect to go ahead and uh, just to bring Florin in the group in right now because anyhow, because he appeared to be in the uh, Blade album. So far, I can't add him to the group. So, right now, let's see. So, the new um, guys I have um, got my quick character is Nim. And uh, let's see. Okay, so this new um, character, so this is Perum. I still got Barry's ass. Alright, so uh, let's see. Uh, so there's still all the new character I got. So Veil, I still got her. I'm never losing her in my sight again. So at least let's see. So at least I think I don't have Veil. Uh, do I now? Let's check. Yeah, but it seems to me because I don't have Veil in my team anymore. So at least you guys can see that Nia is uh, still partnering up with Zabariaz. This uh, same old stuff time. So, at least we look at everything because there's nothing to look. Let's just move back. So, sorry to waste my time because somehow there's a, a lot to do and then what sort of you have to do to your team. But uh, before we go do that, because I want to go to uh, Blaze and just to expect to go and give some team some more quick crystals. So, start with the red because, anyhow, it appeared to me I got three uh, common quick crystals and one of the real quick crystals that we already saving. Already saving, I mean, I'm sorry. I want to keep that in my phrase. So, not, right now, let's just, um,. I need to do something not other than, um, actually, you know what, we're going to hold up with the uh, the Quartz Crystal for later because somehow we need to at least save up some more uh, profit of Quartz Crystal we uh, experientially can. So uh, right now, it's uh, what is current object to ask us to do. So it says, head for the uh, predator study in, uh, in, in the line Centrum. Okay. So at least we're heading up. So at least we may as uh, well find the um, the uh, Malthus that is, uh, appear to be in the uh, throne because somehow we are uh, still moving upwards, so not earning a um, step of the way. So right now, let's just uh, move upwards and see if he's here. So just now, we're back here, same old um, place again. So at least uh, where can we go and uh, find this place? So it's not here because we already got into this place. So it's here to me because I'm not going um, the wrong way. Wait, I'm not. Okay, so he's right here. So now we have to uh, talk to uh, Sinilo. Uh, Alright, so let's talk to him. So we're here in the uh, venue for the uh, Summer of Nations. So I must apologize, uh, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is uh, as far as we go. So yes, Richard and I were to see the summit. So I'm coming with you. So And so are you, Mifer. Mifer, remember? I guess. So I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I had to play my part in all this. Rat, you head back to our chamber um, with the others and wait for, for us. No problem. So be careful in there, okay, Mifra? Don't worry, I'll handle this uh, just fine. All right, Mifra, we're all counting on you and we're opinion on you. So do your best. My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire, Queen Rakura. Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But 
first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozikyrus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. The Crown Prince, the Prodigal Prince of Tantal. <laughs> spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so... That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. He will annihilate mankind, and then... He will kill... The architect. Now, it seems more ordain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offences does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclirus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Can confirm, ex-chairman Banner, give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number. Yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malos, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous. Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, has confronted us in person. And if my word is not enough for you... Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. 
But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there for a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. <sighs> I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos' goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. All of this is my responsibility. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. <sighs> the time may have come to lift that restriction. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. It's for both our sakes. But you, Amalthus... Who is it that you're living for? <sighs> Morning folks, you're looking a bit better slept than yesterday, pretty much. So fan state funeral is to be held today, is it not? So yeah, I think it was meant to be happening so far as uh, far the right outside the center. So you'll be going right chum. Uh, yes, it would be uh, wrong for me not to. So, Sioris uh, Plaza very not far away. Time to go, quick, quick. So, Match Point so bossy sometimes. And why would Poppy be so um, ignatious? Because somehow uh, we don't appear to have Mirag on the team anymore. But somehow uh, we play enough for uh, Nia because somehow uh, I want to go ahead and play with Torch for today because somehow we use enough for Nia today. And we're gonna at least uh, put Zeke in the second column because somehow we don't play with four people today because we're just playing with uh, three uh, characters and all. But uh, let's just return where we last came from and let's continue on. So it says uh, 10th and La Nori uh, State Funeral taking place in uh, Sororis Plaza. Oh, so we're going to a funeral. Alright, well, I'll leave this to the funeral about uh, Fame Pass because somehow 
Uh, Fan uh, survived just to go get stabbed by Zen, but anyhow, let's just uh, we move on because where can we go to this funeral place? Okay, so we have to go further east. Alright, so let's go east. And that one lead us to uh, Soros. So right now, here's our next cutscene. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates? Get out. So wait... You're saying you want to go be clingy or what? I'll burn you. I can't, I can't. Sheesh. It's weird, though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minnow? I mean, Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But uh, now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex, and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Okay, well that's weird whatsoever. I can't understand what Al Melfus just uh, said because he's, uh, he's like, um, we have gathered because Finn is dead or something like that. Because I'm just um making that up because um that's some terrible joke. I never um speak out loud. But anyhow, let's just uh get on to this um next chapter or whatsoever Grant had to say. So that was quite the grand funeral ceremony. So it's supposed to be fun and to uh, just how much Finn was loved by her people. So the goddess of Indol um, won't be in an easy position to replace. So hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? So if we're uh, going to read the world tree, we'll need uh, predator help. But Master Rex, where you are, so predator Almafus that wishes to speak with you. He is waiting in the audience chamber. Uh, the perfect timing then, maybe he wants to talk about the world tree. I'm, I am afraid I cannot say, but there is only one way to find out. So let's get ourselves on, on over to uh, what audience Chamber room. Okay, let's get on to that. That's what uh, Zeke is saying. So right now, I head to the Predator study in the uh, in the line center for the audience uh, with the Almacus. Okay, so uh, let's get on to that. So uh, at least uh, can we go on ahead and uh, wrap ourselves to the uh, audience chamber? Can we at least do so? Yeah, make it much faster. We're stopped by the uh, Great Creation uh, Cloister. So we'll go right there. And we might as well make it to the uh, audience chamber, uh, so there's no problem. So, right now, let's just uh, at least do this. So, can we zoom up? Yeah, I think we can. Oh, how are we doing it? Oh, yeah, so we can zoom up and down. Why not? So, I'm just going to keep it down. Just to make sure we go get there. 
So um, just now, let the tell team because we're gonna at least keep on keep on doing all of this, just step by step, just to continue to go up and uh, just watch this uh, fully move movie again. So um, just now, let's just uh, get another word for Elma Fist and we should be off. So just now, here it goes. My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? No. Not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with the crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So... I might be able to do it too. Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then, my work is done for the day. Come with me. A special envoy? To Tantoth? Me? Correct. Behold. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. But this is Allrest, the world we currently inhabit. We make our home on Titans, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the Great Void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. So I've heard. It's in our way anyway. It stopped us reaching the world tree. The Great Void is carved from the Cloud Sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? To be precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra? So if that thing is Mithra's, then what did it attack us for? Does it make sense? Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the world tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Fetter for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man and so that people may have a future in this dying world. Alright, we have a word. So, Z so Zeke, uh, you're going to be guiding us to Tentol, right? Sure am, but let's head back to our chamber before we talk about it.
Uh, this is not exactly the place for disgusting stuff. Back to our room. Got it. Okay, so right now, what are we doing? So it's a uh, preparation for the next discussion. I return to the symptom chamber and uh, get some rest. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start by uh, wrapping ourselves to uh, where wherever we go. And uh, make it much more quicker. So right now, let's see. Okay, so back to the great creation close where we go. So let's just try to go ahead and uh, desolate right there where we go wrap on. And let's get out to it because this is the shortcut to where we go on ahead and uh, take rest to the spot to uh, talk to Amelia. So let's talk to her and let's make our preparation to sleep as getting fully rest. So um, right now, here's our discussion. We can reach Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. So we're traveling with Shell Lad here. Never thought I'd see the day. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all gonna die. Hey, Zeke. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clams, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam, the hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal. That's right. That is the first I've heard of it. I have studied much history, but this story never featured most peculiar. We're humble. Don't really like to brag about it. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. <laughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, I find the warrior monks here so reliable, they get the job done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty and nostalgia. Who can say? Perhaps both. Is that really all there is to it? You don't think so? I don't know much about what happened while I slept. There are no written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly know what took place. But weren't you one of those present? And that is why I offer you my cooperation. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tanto. Okay, so right, let's uh, head for uh, Jiltia's port. Alright, so uh, can we make it a, a leisurely walk? Guess why? So I've been uh, young uh, since I last uh, went home to uh, Tento. So I've been uh, thinking of Eid Indo uh, as my home so long uh, now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. So you can uh, be shockingly uh, sentimental sometimes. So I know it's shocking, isn't it? Uh, shut up, you two. So I'm gonna take some uh, Indoline presents for the folks you haven't seen in a while. So, ha! Huh, if uh, my old man would uh, want any of that, come on, let's uh, start walking to uh, Jiltia's port. Alright, so you could uh, grab a swig of Odifa uh, along the way. So, uh, they don't have the stuff in the tent hole, so this uh, could be your last chance. So, I said, shut up already. Okay, so Zeke is uh, being the boss right here. He just asked me to shut up. Okay, well, that's not right. So, to get to your tent hole, head for uh, Jiltia's port via uh, Polish Circle. 
Okay, so you know what, you guys? I think we are going to go ahead and stop the episode just right about here. So we are going to go ahead and just do, um, at least how do we zoom in? Right here, probably. Uh, yeah, probably like something like that. So, um, at least I'll try to at least uh, stop the episode just about here. Okay, so that's going to be all it for the episode, you guys. We are going to get sit on um, shell by uh, going to um, GLTS port. On the next episode, you guys, you will be participating and staying tuned on that. So, thank you guys for taking the time to enjoy the series. So, if you ever test it, enjoy the series just now. Do not forget to leave an ever test a like, share it to a friend, subscribe to 1000, just to help bring up more information. And just to show your support by reading down the description below, make sure you help follow each seven steps. Uh, I'll help you get started supporting the video. In the link in the description, you can follow me on Google, Twitter, and Patreon. Much more support my channel if you guys keep up with your advertising and possibility up with you like you guys are staying tuned on my newest update video. Click on my notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything else or Zoom Play Chronicle 2. So that's going to be all it. We'll be picking up more in this one. So if you're new to my channel, if you are right now, do not forget to go on every tax and subscribe on the right side. And stay tuned on my notification and recommendation of my videos. And go, you can check out the live preview episode on Zoom Play Chronicle 2. You missed that live preview episode, do not forget to go and check that one out. And we will talk to you guys later on for more in Zoom Play Chronicle 2. Take care, we will talk to you guys on the next one.